Hey guys, it's Matt the Woodshed Barber and today we're going to be talking about the TPOB Troll Trimmer. So guys, the TPOB Troll Trimmer, for those of you who do not know, it's, well, it's pretty much a clone of the Babyliss Low Pro. Same mold for the entire area on the bottom, the bottom case. The switch is the same. Um, the only thing that's different, of course, is the, probably the motor is different. From what I can tell, it's, it is the same RPMs, but probably a slightly different motor. The of course the top lid is completely different and does not have the low form factor that the Babyliss does, but they definitely come with options. Now, you guys know, you know, whenever it comes to this stuff, I'm going to be honest with my opinion on this. Let you guys know what's the perks of this, what's the what's the cons of this. So, guys, let's get into this. So, guys, whenever you get the TPOB troll, this is how it comes. It comes in this box. It did come with the green lid on it originally. The reason I took it off is one of my favorite things to talk about when it comes to TPOB or if you guys didn't know, the pissed off barber. So yeah, I do like most of my clippers to be all black or occasionally silver, gold, maybe that blue that I like so much. But I'm not big on the bright colors, the pink, the green, it's just not my thing. One thing about TPOB that I heavily like is that their black stuff, their black lids on the Troll. Uh, I've got the um, Yeti I'm going to be reviewing here soon. The, they have a, a flat matte type rubbery finish on them that the green and the pink just don't have. So I switched it. I was going to leave them all green just to, you know, to show how they come. But whenever I felt that, that flat grip black right there, it's just like, man, I'm doing that. That's what I'm doing. So I did switch it over. And I must be honest with you guys, I did switch over to the Psycho Blade. So this is gonna be kind of a two in one. It's gonna be the Troll Trimmer and the Psycho Blade review. More power, Robert. The Troll Trimmer comes with a super torque motor, a lot like the Low Pro FX, 6,800 RPMs, just like the Low Pro FX trimmer. It is plenty powerful. It is a little bit on the loud side. Not like, not gonna use it loud. Not that, like that Andis uh, GTX XO. God, that thing was, I still have nightmares about that thing. Yeah, I'll let you go ahead and listen to it. This is the motor. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's, uh, it's definitely powerful enough to go through anything you wanna go through with it. Uh, I've balled it out with it fine. I've put lines in fine. It's been fine around kids. Like I said, it is a little loud, so I would prefer using something quieter for kids. But as far as what the motor is capable of doing, guys, it's a, it's a great option. Um, it does have three hours of runtime, so plenty of runtime. I think that is more than the Low Pro FX trimmer. Maybe. I might be wrong. We'll see. Maybe I'll put it down below if I'm wrong. But, uh, Plenty of power. So power on this trimmer, I'm gonna say nine out of 10, guys. So the design, as we already covered, um, it has the same same feel as the Low Pro FX trimmer. The um, I do like the, the window there, and this whole case, it is nice. The uh, Here's the green and the pink, in case you guys wanna know what your other options are. As far as design goes, it's, it's, it's copying such a good trimmer. You can't really knock it too much on that. Um, there are a couple things I wish that they would fix about, but we'll get to those here in a little bit. But the fact that it uses an, a Babyliss FX type blade means you can put the FX blades on this as well. So design wise for that, it's a nice perk. So guys, for design on this one, I'm also gonna say nine out of 10. Oh. 
So guys, the blade that comes on this is the DLC Deep Tooth XO blade from TPOB. It's it's kind of like your um, oh, what's the blade that came with the uh, the Low Pro? Not the Graphite 2.0, but the other one. Just, oh yeah, just their DLC 2.0. It's like that blade. It's not perfect. It's not exactly my favorite, but it's it, it can cut through hair. It can line up fine. It's it's a fine blade. But there's been a lot of stuff circling about this Psycho blade. Now here soon, I am gonna be taking this off of here and trying it on my Babyless. Uh, trimmers as well so we'll see how that performs with that I do like the blade I don't think it is the be-all end-all of blades uh, I think that right now that saber blade is just it's it's the mountain to top you've got you've got to beat it before I can say it's it's the thing to to be but it is a very good cutting blade it mows through hair no problem the exo blade same thing because of the blade that comes with it though, and the fact that it's not the Psycho blade, I am gonna give the blade a seven out of 10. It's just, uh, the blade that comes with it's not as sharp, it's not as, as good at mowing through, it's not as good as at balding out, it's not as good as this blade. So, cost effective of this, I mean, you can spend an extra $35 to get this blade, and that's fine, but seven out of 10. Because the way that my bank account is set up, the thing is, I got a check in the savings, but all my money is in the savings. I don't think my card is going to go through. So guys, the cost of this trimmer, and this is where it just gets, it gets good. Um, I don't even know the pissed off barber's real name. Uh, he's, he's a quirky dude, and I like quirkiness. I mean, I'm a quirky dude too, so I've got my hangups. Um, but for the fact that he is a barber who is pointed out a lot of the mistakes in our business the fact that in some ways we are slaves to this big company these big companies coming out with trimmers coming out with clip clippers and it's hard for us to get our, our feet in the game well tpob did it himself he went out he sought out the guys from china who make this and make that he found the molds he's done stuff he's done his research he's he's came out with his own brand and where i will really highly praise this dude is when it comes to the cost of these things now you can go on his website and I, I believe you have to pay you know through euros on there so they're, they're more a little bit more expensive on there however a lot of his clippers and trimmers are on Amazon and I hope he does reach out after this because I would like to know to make sure that he is getting that that is not just somebody mass buying his stuff and just distributing them out a whole lot cheaper I, I do hope they are coming from him I think they are coming from his store but this is what impressed me I was going to get this trimmer anyway. I had it in my in my shopping cart. $79. That's crazy. Now, here recently, Babyless has just decided to uh, to get rid of, I guess, all their pre-FX1 stuff. So they have discounted a lot of their stuff down to $100 for the, some of the clippers, $100 for some of the trimmers. And I think that the, uh, the Low Pro FX trimmer got discounted to 79 dollars but that's on barber supply sites on amazon it's still high now i had this in my cart 79 dollars and then i got an alert price was dropping so i got this trimmer shipped to me prime shipping for 57 dollars guys that's if you are a young buck barber if you are a young guy starting off in this business and you want a good trimmer man for this right here the customization for all this stuff uh i mean even with the blade that comes on it it's a good trimmer for that i mean shoot it's a great trimmer for that price so cost guys that's a 10 out of 10. i mean 79 dollars anyway is great but i paid 57 dollars for this thing that's crazy what time is it Damn time. Boom. so performance like i said guys this thing goes through hair fine it's um it's honestly just like using the uh the low pro fx before i did get the psycho blade i did put the gold fx blade on there just cuts like a champ and honestly guys i i really don't see the point if you guys want a low pro fx but maybe you don't like the rose gold or the gold or the plain black and you want some flair to it i mean go support this dude Go support the pissed off barber. Get one of these right here and just slap any babyless blade you want on it. It's it's top tier. So performance guys, this thing gets a nine out of ten.
goes through anything, does what you want it to do, just as high of quality as the Babyliss. So my overall thoughts, if you are a young barber needing a good trimmer, I mean, the Saber to me is the mountaintop of trimmers. It is the best thing out there. However, it is $180. So if you're a young dude wanting a good trimmer, even if you're paying $79 for it on Amazon, this right here is the one. Get it. It's a good trimmer. Now, my only hang up, and guys, I'm going to be fair to everybody I criticize for this. It's not just Babyliss. So far, everything I've used from TPOB, including the, uh, my, well, it's got a, a Gamma X Ergo lid on it right now, but including the Phantom Clipper and the Yeti has come with a charging dock. Well, I shouldn't be surprised that this one didn't. Why? Because it's a clone of the Babyliss Blow Pro. But for the cost, it doesn't have to. I would like it if it did. That'd be a nice add-in, but it doesn't. But I do already have the Low Pro FX charging dock, but here's the only negative for me with this clipper. If you think you can get this and use the Low Pro FX charging dock on this, you can't. The charging port is just different. The internals of this clipper are different from Babyliss. And so I tried for one thing, I think with this thicker lid, it just didn't slide down all the way to connect. But also these prongs at the bottom of that are smaller than the Babyliss prongs. And so, and also the shape of it is different. So even if it did slide down all the way in there. That's what she said. <laughs> There you go. Um, even if it did slide all the way in, it wouldn't charge. So that's, I mean, that's a weird thing to get nitpicky about with, with a trimmer that cost me like 57 bucks. But guys, overall, this thing is a 9 out of 10. It is a great trimmer. Great trimmer. Um, it came, now here's another thing too, guys. Whenever you do get it, the stuff is not underneath the foam. It comes like this. Granted, it's the green one first, but the uh, oil, the screwdriver for setting the blade, the charging cable are all underneath the other lids. So don't don't just assume that there's not they're not in there. Go under the lids. But guys, overall review, nine out of ten. It's a great trimmer. Go show the pissed off barber some love. So guys, I appreciate you watching this. Thank you. Please like, subscribe, comment down below. Let's create this uh, this network of humble barbers just trying to improve each other. And uh, as always, guys, I'll check you on the next one. Turn around in the dungeon! Thought you ought to know.